Welcome everybody, Red Arrow 23 here. You ready for some Angry G vibe highlights? It's time for episode five. Let's boom some beaches. All right guys, first hit, we've got McCullen 18, AKA Pinhe. Rocking some Zookas, Heavies and Greens. Let's see what he does. Have a quick look at the map. As always, um, Humble Pie is crammed full of defenses and mines. All scattered about the place. So he's opening up with two Zookas, two boats of Zookas, straight onto the rocket launcher. One shock. It's nice. So see how he flared really early for this heavy. The whole point of this um, is so that he can clear as many mines as possible. If he flares too late and those um, heavies are all grouped, they're all gonna take damage from every single mine, or like they all, all of the heavies will take damage from each mine. So he could even flare a little bit earlier, like before he even drops the boats, and they all um, go on the same. Um, they all walk along straight away. So he's got some GBE on these shock launchers up here. The reason that Heavy started to walk down was because he was already flaring the greens in. He's going to try and use as much time as he can. Obviously Grenadiers, being the drunks that they are, they like to throw these grenades all over the place. So he's going for these shield generators and he's just trying to bat out these shock launchers um, for the final push. So you see, even though he dropped the greens really early, those shield generators have a ton of health on them. So great split attack from McCullen. Or Pinhe. Next up we got Zar. I'm not going to show all the attacks on Humble Pie. Um, we didn't actually manage to take this down. Um, Remix and Blue had an attack. Remix Blue, Blue second account, and Trevor had an attack. But I just want to show Zarnarian. So he's doing a similar thing on the left side with heavies, using them to clear mines. It's obviously a bit harder to keep them all spread out um, on this left side, so see how each mine is damaging every heavy. This is unfortunate, but it's just how it has to be. And you might have missed it there. Um, but when he dropped his Zookas, they went to the flare that the heavies had originally going, were going to. So you got to watch that when you're doing a split attack. If you're dropping a second load of troops, you need to either wait for the first flare to um, expire or re-flare to wherever you want to send these the troops that you're dropping. So Zar's working on these boom cannons, uh, mines. That's a good thing about greens. They can, because they're so inaccurate, they can clear a whole bunch of mines, um, usually further on than what they're targeting but also in front sometimes and he has barred out the rest of that shock launcher now he just wants to finish off these shield generators it's a nice attack from Zar. using critters to distract the boom cannon but the rocket launcher is going to pick them off pretty quickly so it's all good And then he's got the advantage over the machine guns, but the boom cannon's slowly picking him off. But yeah, split attacks are key in these higher operations, especially on Humble Pie. Don't know if you can hear my dog snoring over there. <laughs> Alright, so I won't show the rest on Humble. Unfortunately, we didn't finish it on this one. Right, let's check out sliding block miss G with a solo. Let's check out see how you did it. So just the one rocket launcher on the middle. Usually there's a group of nine here and occasionally some at the top. So Miss G's opted to go left. Butted out some of these mines. It's always handy to get rid of those early. So you're not under pressure on the walk. 
Here we go. Looks like she's going to clear out the rock launchers. <clears throat> and then she's got a free ride. Nice. Crit is just distracting from those single shot buildings. And shocking the mortar to take that out. Now that the shield's all gone. She should be able to set up for a pretty nice um, core rush. Here we go. One, two shocks. And a critters. And boom. Here it goes. And boom. Down goes the core. An extra artillery on the core after it's gone down. No med kit. Oh. Come on, Ms. G. It's alright. It's alright. Hopefully someone else will drop one. So we got Doof on strap. Where are you? Right here. Let's have a look at strategize. So this is the first hit on strategize. Fairly normal looking layout. Just a group of machine guns missing from up here. Uh, he's on the right hand side. See how he goes. See what we got doof. Nice flag landing with some critters to distract all those single shots. Let's do it. It's got all eight boats of Zookas. Nice, using a smoke just to gather them all up so he's not getting picked off as quickly. And then the re smoke. And boom, sending them up north. I like it. So that was the main reason I think he um, initially smoked there was so that they'd all gather up. So once he was finished taking out those shield generators, he can send them up on this walk. Nice, because the re flare out critters in the smoke so that they reveal first and then you've got time to throw those four shocks and he actually forgot to flare the shield generator but it's fine it works out well and he gets it down Where's that? and he's just clearing out mines on the left for the next attacker always thinking ahead love your work so we had some more attacks on strategize um, guys did an awesome job clearing it out Getting it ready for the finish. And then Steph came in. So as you can see, the shield generator is gone. His top shield generator is gone as well. And all his defenses kind of had to go um, just on the way. And now, and the machine gun's on the right. So now Steph's going to go for the core. Finishes off that boom cannon first. Nice classy flare landing. This is a 203 map, uh, probably got quite a lot of health on the core, so you know, it hasn't, um, the only damage to the core so far is from taking out buildings. So critters out, shock, 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 one, two, three, four, and critters, nice, I think that was like three sets of critters, one more shock for the hot pot and flamethrower, and boom, down go, strategize, and the med kit, how much GBE does this girl have, I love your work Steph, great comeback, alright let's flip over to the next op, what do we got, we got the next deep cut, See Stephanie on Axiom. For those of you that remember, in the last operation, I gave Steph a little bit of um, a little bit of banter over her Axiom attack. She had a bit of a gap in her smoke. So can she redeem herself on this one? This is Steph's Axiom redemption. So random smoke off to the side. I always like a little bit of flare in your attack. And all those smokes are nice and tight. I like it. Two shocks. 
core is already flared. Hit this damage, get it in. Some more critters, shock shock, bang bang. Oh no, just the one shock, that's all she needs, don't worry about it. And she was saving GBE for the medkit, that's why she didn't do the other shock. Obviously, she's got her priorities straight. I like it. So nice work Steph, way to redeem yourself from last week. Ain't no smoke gaps here. Alright. Next up again. And we have... Fu Mong Dong on Callisto. Had a couple of questions about how to take down Callisto. This is one of your options. So Fu Mong Dong's just clearing out some mines right by the core. Nice tidy flare landing. Gets the smoke down before the flare. And just look at that flare spot. Right between the flamethrower and the rocket launcher. You gotta watch that. Make sure it's right on that wall and right between those two defenses. And the Zookas are gonna walk perfectly and avoid this mine here and the mines on the other side. So they go to the left of the defense, but they're not gonna trigger that mine. So it's key. And then chucks another smoke, reflares, and watch this reflare onto the flamethrower. And because he's already cleared mines, he had to be really critical of his GBE. So you'll see. Now these flare onto the flamethrower, everything's gathered around the mortar because they try to spread out. And now he's flared onto the core, shot the flamethrowers, mortars, two sets of rocket launchers. And look at that perfect shocks, managed to get all the defense and none of bazookas. Awesome. Sends out some critters to distract for the last little bit, get as much damage as he can. And I like it. Check out that core. This is the first hit. First hit. Fu Mong Dong, smashing it. It's pretty hard, especially when you've cleared mines as well. There's a lot of GBE that you need to use. So every flare and everything had to be perfect on that run. So let's check it out. Finish from Red Arrow. It's me. Look, mom, I'm famous. So here we go. Flare landing into the corner. Fu Mong Dong's already showed me how to do it. And you'll see that I try to throw this smoke quickly and then pan up the screen, that's why it's a bit inaccurate. And then when I flared up, it looks like it might be on, um, but I was actually looking at it at the time, and it had the target um, go around the rocket launcher. So I had to re-flare between, so that's why all the Zookas spread. And I had to re-smoke on that spot anyway, because it was expiring. So yeah, I pretty much had a heart attack when this happened. As soon as I threw the smoke, uh, as soon as I threw that flare, I saw that it missed, it hit the defense. So you gotta act quick. Somehow I didn't lose many Zugas. So got my shocks off. Only missed that one mortar. Boom, double medkit. That's how we do it. Callisto is down with the mortar wrapped. Two hits. Two hits with the mortar wrap. It's not the easiest hit, but it can be done. I mean, if I can do it. You, you can do it too. So that's going to do it for today. That's going to, Mortar Wrap's going to wrap up our attacks for today. So comment down below which attack was your favorite or the funniest. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, and subscribe for more Boom Beach!